What an interesting shaped building. It looks so... kind of looks like a rocket, doesn't it? Hey guys, welcome back. This is just some kind of monument from Russia that I downloaded. And I thought we would put it kind of just about in this area here because this area is going to be just parkland and maybe over there as well. So this can be a real huge centerpiece. And it's really high, but I think we can get away with it because it's not a very large and thick structure. It really... Is, it's just like a giant tr giant tree. It's just got a big trunk with no leaves and um, So I hope you guys don't mind Originally in this video. I was going to do a port over here somewhere But I think that is postponed till next video because I may have done a little bit of the downtown when I say a little Maybe not a little okay let me turn around the camera, but first of all, I have placed some buildings. I have changed the road layout a little bit. Um, some of the buildings will be very, very high. And you're going to be saying, well, Sam, why are they so high? They look so out of place. Well, that's the exact keyword. Out of place doesn't look right because the area around it is not filled in. So anyway, let me just turn it around so you guys can have a look. Ready? There it is. I started drafting the downtown area to see to see how it would look uh, and I'll go through the layout that I used but this building here and this building here are from Moscow itself and the downtown area is based from the new Moscow downtown development if you go to the if you go to Google Maps you'll find it and it has a very similar design to this and that design has a curved shape and it has really large buildings uh, amongst some smaller buildings but it's very modern looking and I really hope you guys don't mind but I just got so excited yesterday with doing all of the uh, the roads out here and I just thought you know what I can't wait I was just playing with buildings and I started putting them down and then one thing led to another now there's some parking lots now there's many roads yeah so but I had to stop myself so for this episode let's go through what I have done let's also have a look at filling in the areas, the types of buildings, and we'll see where it goes. So let's have a look. If I pull it up like this, it doesn't look like much from this angle. So, originally, this road here go, went all the way through. It is now a tunnel. And the reason why I did that, because I wanted to make this a big open inner area for the downtown area. And if you look at the Moscow development, they have some kind of big shopping center in the middle. But I thought this is, I'll just do whatever that is. I think some kind of indoor facility, I think a sports facility. And then this area here will be open green space. And just by putting the, that road in the tunnel, it really opens up the whole area. And it really makes this area not so compact looking yet, even if you go if you look at it from this angle, it still looks very compact, but once you're actually in there, it's not so bad. So there's still a lot of open space, which is something that I would really want if I was in a really tall city. Um, so this, we have a few different buildings. This one's from Brisbane, I believe, where I live, if I remember. Yeah, it is. The Amy one. Um, so that's from here. Uh, so these ones are from... Moscow itself. This one is from New York. Does anyone know what this one is? Please, no hate. Um, and then this one is from Oslo. And I think they're the main ones that are actually from somewhere. But if we just, oops, if I just click, we have the Foster Tower. I really like this one on oh, Madrid. It has the really cool red colors. It looks really cool at night. What about this one? Gola's Leaden Hole Cheese Grater. Is that from somewhere? It sounds like it could be. Um, this one I think is just made up. What about this one? I think that's made up as well. This one looks like it could be real. City Center Square. I don't know. Is this New York or something? I, I feel like it could be. And I think that is all of the actual buildings from somewhere. And if I just show you guys, there's not many people living in this area. So we have these buildings, this one. Somehow the buildings on the top levels are residential. And then this guy here. And I was thinking in the nearby area we do really high density residential area as well um, so currently there's only 462 people but in terms of workers there's over 2,000 not many households not many visitors yet land value is really low so it's still 
a pretty poor area when you think about it in comparison to, to all, all of the others. For example, over here is 61. 61 uh, city skylines money per square meter. What about this one over here? 52. So for comparison, and then this one is 18, which is... 18 is very similar to like... Yeah, it's not far off from <laughs> a forestry. So... So, 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 I really hope you guys don't mind, but I just got so excited. Um, this building is saying it's unhappy, but we can we can deal with that. So this building is an indoor arena, which is pretty cool. And if we go in, have a look, not all of the buildings have to be high density. So we have some low density commercials. So they're like five or six stories high, a few more there. Uh, and then I put in a few older style buildings here as well. And then also if we go out to the front, you notice that I you notice that I put in some other older style buildings just to kind of fill in these spaces in here. And I really like how this really high building pokes out of these really old fashioned buildings. I think that's pretty cool. Um what about this one? Where does that come from? Don't know. Don't know about that one. And um so we have we have to connect the tram, which I will do. I was thinking for the tram I would just do an inner city loop. And you might be saying, well, why don't you elevate the tram or something like that? And the reason why I don't want to elevate the tram is because, first of all, the roads are very large, so it takes a long time for people to walk across. So in the future, there's going to be a lot of elevated walkways like Inselstadt, um, which will go over the road uh, and which can easily go over and which can easily go over the top of a tram. Furthermore, I can also put in monorails over the top of the tram. Uh, which I will be doing so eventually the monorail down here will probably come out here out to here And then somehow loop back in and then down into the transport hub So keeping the trams on the ground is just the best option for now and although it might it might Not help with the traffic. There's a lot of intersections, but it's just something that we'll have to deal with or something have, We'll just have to get over and that's just how it is. So let's connect so let's pause and you might be saying well why didn't I just connect it here and the reason is because it it just really doesn't connect good um, it creates a real major glitch so if I connect it if I connect it right there at that point yeah it, it all goes really really crazy so that's why it's elevated and that's why over here it's it's all raised up as well otherwise I would just connect it straight down but it is what it is so Let's find the tram. I was figuring I might just connect it on to here. <laughs> Which probably isn't the best idea, but... Wait, first of all, where is it? For now, it'll just come along and connect into this intersection. Probably not the best. Yeah, that doesn't look very good, does it? Oh, that completely wrecked the whole, the whole intersection. So, in that case... What happened? I didn't put the tram. I need the tram and bus. Tram lanes and bus. Go, that's the one. And then over here, I want... Uh, those two, like so. And I'll fix up those trees in a second, but... I guess since it was going to disrupt the intersection, the other option is to connect it halfway up this road. Uh, so let's do that. I'll bring you down. Now, how is that elevation? It's a little... Uh, like, uh. So come on down, you. Come on down. Um, you can probably bring it down a lot here as well. It's quite high. Uh, there's a thing there, but we can't see it. There we go. So this will come down hopefully not cause too much of an issue with this connection here uh, connect like so and then I want to do an inner city loop so we're going to choose tram and bus lane and I know it's going to you're gonna be like oh my god it's going through such a such a huge intersection but you know what I like the challenge I want to just I, I just like the challenge <laughs> um, so you can just go up around here it's really just going to be one large circle which would be quite helpful for getting around the city. I would use it. There we go. 
Is that all connected? Yes, it is. And then out here, I was thinking there would be some parkland. So this road here, I might actually put it down a little bit like this, or I might even make it into a tunnel to go th underneath through here. So it's a really nice open park area. And I don't know about this road here, we'll just, but that's just the plan. I know I want to put in a park and, poss and possibly hide this road more. So the tram is coming in. That's good. Let's put in some tram tram stations. So, 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 is it going to, okay, that's good. So I suppose we, sh we should put one going either way. So let's put one in the middle here and let's put one up here like so put another one up here near the intersection so they can walk across put another one oh, has to go in the middle now we'll put it down here near the intersection again and then up here we can put so where was the last one it was there let's put this one oops what's happened excuse me put it there and then over here we'll do the same right there and then I put one here as well uh, because this one will go this way so this will be like their last option if they want to transfer and go out of the city but this purple one will be will only go in the city area it won't go out into any other area actually this is a little bit close so can I put it there because it, when the tram comes around they have the um, the few carriages behind so we don't want to block the intersection let's so come around here that one can go there and then that one can go there pause I need to find the type, so let's go down to tram and have a look at the types. Oh, I have a lot now, do I? Um, I like the... No, we don't want a really old-fashioned one for in the downtown. Let's, uh, this one, Siemens. Siemens? Siemens. What's this one? No, it's too old-fashioned. Okay, well, what's this? City Arrow. Maybe this was the City Arrow. Let's use the city arrow, but can I change the colors? I think, oh wait, the, the colors will probably change when I do it. So this one is fine, but we need to choose the other one. Go up into here. Which one is it? It'll be this one. Yes. Yes. And then I will remove all of these. Remove. Remove. And then it'll take them a while to get out here, but we want to choose which one was it? <laughs> it was city error, I think. Select type, add, 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 add. But then again, maybe. No. I was going to say, should it be the same as the other one? The other tram. So should it be the same as this one? What is this type, first of all? This is the city error as well? Okay, then that's fine with me. So off they go. That is all good. Um, mm, I think, should I move these stations up near the end? Possibly. Because then they don't have to walk as far to get to the intersection, to the crossing. Let's follow it. Let's go. Beep, beep. Let's go for a ride. And I want to have that open so I can see how many people. So there's 39 people. Capacity of 120. Let's zoom out just a little bit. That's annoying. And then it'll come around this big curve. That's a high school there, by the way, if you're wondering. And why is it like doing some laggy thing right there? So 53 people, so that's good. No people waiting there yet. It comes around here. See how it doesn't block the intersection um, because it's, it's actually a pretty good fit, to be honest goes around come on let's go let's go let's go let's go there's no traffic let's go let's go okay oh whoa 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 Jesus <laughs> okay you know what it's fine we can go out elsewhere so the next one is up here there's a little group of people that's good comes around here another little group of people uh, actually this one is to actually I'll show you guys but this one is it's way too close to the intersection so it'll come out it'll block it 
potentially. Oh, of course, it's gonna make me wait. Come on, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Come on. Oh, thank you. Let's see. Yeah, it blocks it a little bit. Oh, uh, maybe we could get away with it. It blocks the crossing. But if we do it again, if I change, it's gonna be all the way up there. So let's just leave it. Move on. This one's good. Um, are these the other ones? Let's see if they go the opposite way. Come on, come on, come on. No, it's that one. Okay. Okay. This one. I guess the other ones, they'll take a while to get there. They have to come from all the way down in here. But maybe they're on their way. Is this? This could be. I don't know. Oops, too far. Oh, there we go. Let's have a look. How do they look? They look good. Okay, they're all bunched up, but that's okay for now. Um, how many did I put in? Line details. How many? Four. Four is okay for now. Okay, let's go into the city and have a look. So we have parking, parking, parking parking, a street of parking, a little bit of parking here, a little bit of parking behind those shops and a little bit in there, a little bit there, a little bit there. So it's not a huge amount but it's also not nothing so I think it's I think it's pretty good to have and um, I was thinking should I put some kind of big monument here because we have like this whole big this big part in here do we want it to look out into some big potential government get building or some kind of big monument so let me know about that I have a whole basically whatever you think I have something to put there um, up here I don't I don't want to put anything up here because then it's gonna block all of the open green space so I want to keep that as open one more thing because it's something that's very important and a lot of people do ask me about this but I never really care because it's just the game but the shadows so obviously this is open space you want people to have light in there so let me show you that light can get in there so we're currently at what's that five or three o'clock but if I speed it up a little bit and you guys watch you'll see that there is sunlight that still gets in throughout the whole area which which is good because you don't want it to be really cold so it's getting it it's getting you just have to keep moving and moving and moving What's that? 5.30 now. We're coming into night time, so we won't really have any shadows. But I'll speed it up for night time and show you guys how it looks. Let me pause for a second. Look at that. Look at that sunset. Look at the colours. So beautiful. And then all the, all the lights, and then look at the really bright light here. And then look at this really nice reddish color. This one has the, the red light shooting out as well. Shame this one doesn't have any lights, or this one. Hmm. That is a shame. But it looks pretty good, I think. Pretty good. And what about from over here? It's a little bit dark in the park. Huh? Ah, dark in the park. But yeah, look at all the stars. It looks so... just looks so nice. And then all of the other city as well. Wow. Definitely looks really impressive. So then we might just pause. We'll get back here. Slow it down to, what, times 8. So we've got the, the early morning light shining in. But this is still pretty early. What time is it? 7 in the morning. But we have direct light at 7 o'clock. Which is pretty good. But um, honestly, who's going to be in the park at 7 o'clock? Not too many people. Um, so... All the lights are still on. Come on, turn them off. And I noticed this building, it goes a little bit wacky sometimes when you zoom out. But it is what it is, and we still love her how she is. We, we accept her. 10.30. It is a little bit shady. But it's okay. Come on, shadows. Where's the sun? Must be over there. Going around. But let's see, midday. It's a bit shady at midday. Well, let's see, it's 25 degrees, so maybe you want the shade. What's that, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock? A little bit of shade, so you just have to keep moving as the shades keep going. And, okay. 
let's leave it on. Let's leave it on. Let's go back a little. Here we go. 10 o'clock. There's a lot of cars coming in and out, so that's something that I don't want to have. So I might have to zone, uh, not zone this, but uh, what's this called again? Well, I might just have to allocate this as local traffic only. Uh, I don't want too many cars coming in because I want this to be a real pedestrian friendly area. And so yeah, let me know what you are thinking about this. I know it is really, really high, but that is what I've been wanting and I, what, what I've been saying that I want to have from the beginning. Um, I'm just going to... I guess we just need to fill it in a little bit more. But I guess this episode was basically just to show you guys what I did uh, before we go into another video and do something completely uh, on a different topic. So uh, when you come back in this in the next episode, I'm sure I will have filled in these areas. I don't need to do it now. You guys can imagine. I'm I might put in a few more little buildings here and there like the low density ones and also just let me know do you want me to put some kind of like a big soviet i have like a huge what is it it's called so oops can't see i have some big soviet thing no not that one yeah this one i have like these types of buildings i could make some kind of big i don't know some big thing or I could put some kind of big structure, I could put a park, definitely I need to do something but I'll leave that up to you guys. What should I do, where should I do it, most likely here. Um, also if you have a building request, you can tell me that now. This one was a building request so I shoved that in quickly and if you have any more let me know and don't you just love this building, it's like someone grabbed it really tight and squashed it a little bit. Um, let's, let's go in, let's go to first person. We have our olive trees as we come in, and wow, look at it, oh yeah, there's another wavy building up there. Oh, let's have a look in here, so we have this really high building, which is residential. That's cool, we have some shops, so we have some parking back here. Hello there, sir. Um, let's go out here. Oh. So we have the indoor plaza, and just look at all of the buildings. It's going to be so nice to dis to destroy them all. Uh, this one here, I mushed together two really small buildings to make one. And then if we go, we're going the opposite way. We're being American. We've got the German and French flag over there. We come down here. Let's go down to this the big green space. And doesn't it make you appreciate this space now that you've, you're you down here. You see how big all of the buildings are. And you'll notice that I clumped all of the, all of the buildings over this side. Uh, so this side over here, there's going to be less and less. And you can see why I would want to put some kind of big monument here. Because it's in line. And all of the people are walking to the zoo up there. But um, yeah, so that's basically all I wanted to do. I hope you guys really don't mind that this video was just me showing you what I've started to do. Um, but next episode, I will probably start on the port area. Nothing too fancy, but just to get some kind of harbour port connection going. Um, don't those little guys look cute? Look at them go. I did yellow because it's nice and bright. 14 East End. Well, I don't think there's an East End here, but let's exit. There we go. So guys, like I said, I hope you all don't mind. Uh, if we zoom out, yeah, it looks so out of place right now. But um, you know me, I'll work it, I'll blend it, it'll be good. So... Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and if you guys haven't noticed, I've been posting a video every day this week. I've got into a bit of a good flow, so if you want to see a port, you better be back tomorrow, and I can't wait to see you there, so bye guys.